Today, we will make a journey into the dark and fascinating world of the Necronomicon. Published in 1977, this enigmatic tome by the Swiss artist H.R. Giger has captivated audiences with its mesmerizing blend of surrealism and horror. In this video, we will delve deep into the pages of this iconic book, exploring its origins, its impact on art and culture, and the eerie beauty that lies within its twisted imagery. Join me as we unlock the secrets of the Necronomicon and discover why it continues to haunt the imaginations of those who dare to explore its pages. Necronomicon is a book by the Swiss artist H.R. Giger, originally published in 1977. It is a compendium of Giger's artwork, showcasing his unique and disturbing biomechanical style. The title of the book is a reference to the fictional green war mentioned in the works of horror writer H.P. Lovecraft. The artwork in this book often features surreal and nightmarish imagery, with a focus on blending elements of the organic and the mechanical. Giger's creation frequently depict humanoid forms fused with machinery, creating a sense of unsettling beauty and grotesquerie. The book gained significant attention for its dark and provocative content, and it quickly became popular among fans of science fiction, horror, and surreal art. Giger's work in Necronomica would go on to influence various aspects of popular culture, particularly in the realm of science fiction and horror films. The success of Necronomica led to subsequent publications featuring Giger's artwork, as well as collaboration with filmmakers, most notably his design work on the films Alien, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Overall, Necronomica stands as a seminal book in H.R. Giger's career, showcasing his distinctive artistic vision and leaving a lasting impact on the world of art and popular culture. This book is filled with a plethora of haunting and iconic paintings. While it's challenging to narrow down the most relevant paintings from such a rich collection, here are a few standout pieces that are often cited as representative of the book's eerie and surreal atmosphere. Necronom 4 We begin with one of the works that gave rise to the Cinemore. In the center of the composition stands a grotesque and otherworldly creature reminiscent of a humanoid form but twisted into an unsettling amalgamation of flesh and machinery. Its elongated limbs contour in unnatural angles and its skeletal frame is adorned with intricate biomechanical details. Giger's masterful use of light and shadow adds depth and dimension to the painting, enhancing the overall atmosphere of surreal horror, immersing the viewer in a nightmarish realm that blurs the line between the organic and the mechanical. Beard Machine Bill Machine is an artistic manifestation of Giger's deeply held belief that the most significant threat to our civilization is the impending overpopulation of our planet. This painting, done with pen and ink, shows a view inside a Walter pistol. Inside there are strange mechanical babies tangled together, coming out of the gun. These babies, called bullet babies, show how life and death are connected and how humans affect the Earth. Li Wang Li Wang is a captivating artwork made with airbrushing on a photo print. In this eerie piece, Li Tobler, who was Giger's lover and inspiration at the time, is the main focus. The artwork shows Li Tobler's face which has both a disturbing and peaceful feeling created with Giger's unique style of blending organic and mechanical parts. This mix of natural and machine elements makes you think about change and transformation. In Li Wang, Li Tobler's face is portrayed with great attention to detail. 
You can feel a mix of beauty and unease when you look at it. Her features seem both familiar and strange in the same time. Using the airbrushing technique, Giger can make details textures that highlight how light and shadow play off each other. The Spell 2 The painting depicts three women, possibly witches, gather around a table that seems to float. Two of the women on the side look like they have no legs and are somehow attached to the table. The head of the victim is upside down and stuck in the table. Giger once explained that the main woman in the middle has her legs tied to an upside down crucifix. This woman wears a white headdress that stretches to the edge of the painting. Landscape 18 This artwork shows landscapes made of babies, which excited Giggers a lot. He got the idea to paint these unsettling baby heads because to him babies were originally innocent and beautiful, but when he saw many of them together, they started to feel scary. They seemed to represent the beginning of all bad things. This made him worry about overpopulation, which can lead to scary problems like diseases, mass panic, and ruining the environment. Biomechanoid 3 Giger was fascinated by ancient Egyptian art from a young age. When he was about six years old, his older sister Iris took him to see a mummy at the museum. He thought it was beautiful and imagined it to be a princess inside her sarcophagus. Giger noticed that the mummy had an old smell that fascinated him. These memories later inspired him when he started drawing and using the airbrush. He admired how in ancient Egypt, death was an important part of their culture and they would preserve it through mummification. In Biomechanoid 3, which is shown in the center, there's something resembling a sarcophagus. It has the lower part of a female face, but oddly, the upper part seems to be missing, as if it had broken off. These paintings, among other features in Necronomica, have solidified H.R. Giger's legacy as a master of surrealist art that has inspired countless artists filmmakers and enthusiasts with their haunting beauty and profound symbolism. The surreal and haunting imagery found in Necronomica has become iconic, instantly recognizable as Giger's distinctive style. Its fusion of organic and mechanical elements has influenced a wide range of artists and designers across different genres. Giger's work has had a significant impact on the visual aesthetics of science fiction and horror films. His biomechanical designs, especially those featured in the book, have been prominently featured in films such as the Alien franchise, Species, among others. His influence can also be seen in television shows, video games, and other forms of media. Beyond specific industries has contributed to a broader cultural legacy around art, technology, and the human condition. The Necronomicon, originally published in 1977, stands as a seminal work that has left an indelible mark on the world of art, film, music, and popular culture. Filled with haunting and surreal imagery, the book showcases Giger's unique blend of organic and mechanical elements, captivating audiences with its dark beauty and unsettling symbolism. The book's influence can be felt across various mediums, cementing Giger's legacy as a visionary artist whose work continues to inspire and fascinate audiences around the globe. Thank you.